Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have said they will keep their birth plans private and a royal commentator has said it is a sign of the Duke's rebellious streak as he tries to be different. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are due to have their first child any day now but the royal couple has made the personal decision not to share details about the baby. But the Duke and Duchess of Sussex shock fans on Thursday by announcing they intend to keep details of the delivery private and will only announce the news after they have time to celebrate private as a new family. Keir Siemens, the senior international correspondent for the Today Show, said Meghan Markle is an ambitious woman who will be shaking cobwebbed corridors of those royal palaces. Despite there being a lot of jealousy surrounding Meghan's decision to marry Britain's most eligible bachelor, Mr. Simmons said Harry is her biggest supporter. He added, she is lucky to have Harry because he is stubborn and won't have people tell him what to do and knows those palaces very well. So, he knows exactly what the dangers are. The Today Show's executive producer Libby Lias then asked the royal commentator, doesn't Harry have a rebellious streak where he might say let's stick it to the family a little bit? That's what Kate did. That's what Diana did. So, they are actually trying to be different. The royal commentator shut down claims Meghan is attempting to impersonate Princess Diana and insisted the young royal couple are simply trying to be different. He added, sometimes she gets accused of being like Diana. But if she wanted to be Diana then she would go and give birth in the same hospital as Diana did and she would walk out with a baby like that. So, I am not sure that is fair either. So, does she wake up in the morning with ten things she wants the people around her to do? Yes, probably. And is that a bit of a shock to them? It will be very definitely if that is the case. But that doesn't necessarily make her bad. It makes her trying to make the best use of the situation she finds herself in. Meghan and Harry said they will not be sharing details about the baby, which will be seventh in line to the throne, until they had time to celebrate privately. The couple's royal household, Buckingham Palace, said in a statement, The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very grateful for the goodwill they have received from people throughout the United Kingdom and around the world as they prepare to welcome their baby. Their royal highnesses have taken a personal decision to keep the plans around the arrival of their baby private. The Duke and Duchess look forward to sharing the exciting news with everyone once they have had an opportunity to celebrate privately as a new family. The statement indicated there will be no immediate photo call following baby Sussex's birth, who will be seventh in line to the throne. This is in marked contrast to the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge who posed outside the Lindo wing soon after Kate had all three of their children. The Buckingham Palace statement about the decision by Meghan, 37, and Harry, 34, follows growing speculation the Duchess could go for a home birth at Frogmore Cottage in Windsor. An insider claimed it was a likely option after the Osborne former actress had sailed through her pregnancy. The source told the Daily Mail, it is her favorite choice but it obviously depends on how things are nearer the time. Friendly Park Hospital in Surrey, where the Countess of Wessex gave birth to her children, has also been suggested as it is close to Meghan and Harry's new house. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.